Hi, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to set up a host only connection in VMware Workstation. And what that'll do is it'll, it'll allow you to isolate your host in a virtual machine or virtual machines on its own network so the uh, virtual machines aren't talking to each other unless they're on that same host only network. So, by default, when you configure a virtual machine, it uses the uh, NAT connection, network address translation connection, so it'll share the internet connection with your host computer, which is the computer running. VMware Workstation, so I'm going to have a couple examples here, so as we go through it, hopefully it'll make a little more sense. Okay, so we have this Windows 11 VM and a Windows 10 VM that we're going to be using. So if I go to the settings for this Windows 11 VM, you'll see the network adapters set to use NAT. And for Windows 10, set to use NAT. Okay, so if I do an IP config on both of them, you'll see we have the IP address 192.168.13.128 and 13.129. So we have this listed here. So right now, here's what we got going on with the Windows 11, 128, Windows 10, and 129. And the NAT network is, uses the 13 subnet and the host only network uses the 116 subnet and where you see that if you go to edit and then virtual network editor you'll see here's our NAT network uses 13 and our host only uses 16 so you should have a NAT network and a host only network configured by default so you shouldn't even have to configure these and now if I go to command prompt on the host computer here I do IP config and then I'm looking for here's my 13 network and my 116 network I have some other adapters on here for uh, VirtualBox and Hyper-V so you probably won't have as many connections as I do if you're only using virtual or only using VMware Workstation okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ping Windows 11 at this address here and see what happens just copy this here, make it easier. And you can see I could do that. And I should also be able to ping 129. And if you can't ping them, you might want to check your uh, firewall settings. And what you want to do is Allow an app or feature through the def Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Change Settings so it's not grayed out. And then you could go down to File and Printer Sharing and enable that. And it'll usually take care of that. And then it's also something you need to do if you want to share uh, files and folders as well. Okay. Okay, so now from Windows 11, we're going to try and ping Windows 10. So we're going to try a 2.168.13.128. Dot 129. And so, okay, so the VMs are talking to each other, the host computer's talking to each other, and now we're going to make some changes here. Okay, so on this Windows 11 Pro computer, we're going to go back to the settings here and change this NAT to the host only connection. And so now we have to renew this IP address, IP config slash rename. You can reboot as well if you want. Okay, so now we're on the 116 network. So instead of having the 13.129, we are 116.128. So let's put that on our list here. So the Windows only, Windows 11 host only network is 116.128. And so now let's go back to my host here and see if I could ping that. Okay, so, so these two are talking on the host-only network. So now for Windows 10, we're going to put this on its own host-only network. If I were to put it on the same host-only network, then that wouldn't do much good because it'd be they'd all three be able to still talk to each other, so it wouldn't really be isolated. So what we're going to do before we do that, we have to make a new host-only network. So we have to go back to Edit and Virtual Network Editor. 
and then we have to do change settings so it's not grayed out. Okay, add a network. And you could pick whatever available VM net uh, adapter or switch you want to do here. So we'll use two. Okay, so VM net two is a host only, VM net one is a host only. So we'll say okay to that. And now it's got to actually add this VM net two to the host computer as a, as a virtual adapter. So if I were to go to control panel here, and then network and sharing center, adapter settings, you could see that I have the one, which is the NAT, the eight, which is the host only, now this new VMNet two, which is our second host only network adapter there. Okay. All right, so now, okay, so we have Windows 11, which is on the, uh, first host only adapter so on Windows 10 we're going to put on the new host only adapter so if we pick this it's going to put it on the default one so we have to go to custom and then pick this VMNet 2 and then okay and then do a renew oh, maybe it's not ready yet Okay, so now this is on 80.128, so we'll go back to our list here. All right, so here's where we're at now. So we were on Windows 11 NAT with 13.128, Windows 10 NAT on 13.129. So now we're on host-only network, so Windows 11 is on 116.128, and Windows 10 host-only network is on 80.128. So let's see if I could ping this. From my host, command prompt. Okay, so now we're talking each on its own host only adapter here. So let's go back here and let's see if we could ping this 192.168.80.128. So now the two VMs are not talking to each other because they're on two different host-only adapters, yet my host computer could communicate with both VMs because it's because I have, you know, the two host adapters here, which match with what I configured on each one of those. So hopefully that makes sense. So once again, let's just go look at the uh, virtual network editor. So here is the NAT network that they were both on by default and then I switched Windows 11 to this host only and it got an IP address on the 116 subnet then I made the new VMNet 2 host only adapter for Windows 10 and I put it on the 80 subnet so now Windows 11 is talking here Windows 10 is talking here and my host could talk to both of them because I have actually 2 and 8 host only adapter here for both of those but they, but the two VMs can't talk to each other because they're on two different host-only adapters. So hopefully that makes sense. You might want to watch this more than once to, you know, if it's a little confusing. But it's pretty simple to do once you get the hang of it. So just you know, start playing around with it, make your adapters, and see how it works. You, know, you can always reset stuff back to the default if you want. You know, click restore defaults. That'll set everything back to the way it was for your uh, network editor, and then you could you know, change the uh, VMs back to the NAT only network and start over if something's screwy. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.